Michel Montière de, de lui. Vous avez vu qu ce qu'il avait fait les dernières 50 ans de sa vie. When we didn't have jazz in Montreal for a while, and Vic was there along with Charlie Biddle, Nelson Simons, and Lee Gagnon. These guys were determined. I had the chance to continue to play. Cette année, ça fait exactement 80 ans depuis que j'ai commencé. I heard a lot of changes, believe me. But especially the time that I worked with Vic is probably the funniest. And some of the things, well, we can't talk about what he said. <laughs> but I must tell you, in 14, we were working in Valleyfield. And I had just gotten my car. And driving to Valleyfield with Bruce Parin, who was the drummer, Richard Paris, wonderful saxophonist. And I hit a cow. <laughs> I actually killed this cow. And be between the four of us, I think we had a total of $23, which we paid the farmer. <laughs> so I get back in my car, and we take off for Valley Field. C'est là qu'on reste. Vic grabs me from the back. Stop the car. Turn around. We pay for the thing. We'll go back and get the cows, and I'll cook it for you. Madame du Monsieur, je suis tellement fier. I'm so proud of these wonderful, wonderful musicians that I see that will continue to make Montreal one of the finest places to hear music. Yeah. I see the young, young people that are continuing. And I'm looking at Vic's trombone. And of course, back then, I too was playing alto saxophone, very badly, <laughs> but I remember it was something that we loved and we continued, and I'm so proud of our jazz festival. André, Alain, merci mille fois, puis bonsoir, madame et monsieur.